I'm Nick Powell's with Lumino Magazine. We're here with Craig Yingst. Uh, Craig, where are you from? Pensacola, Florida. And I, I saw you last weekend at the Hyde Park Art Fair. How, how many art fairs do you get to do in Chicago every year? So I, I do two in the Chicago area and about 24 during the year. That's great. Now I'm looking at the demographic. I mean, it's young and old. You're one of the probably few artists here who can relate to pretty much every demographic with what you do. Is that kind of... Yeah, of yeah. T uh, typically I probably uh, relate more to the baby boomer generation. But yeah, I probably run 30 to 55, sure. taking interest. What, what's the background in your art? Tell me how you got involved with this. And uh, there, there had to been some music connection before. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not a musician other than the typical two years of dabbling with piano. But um, you know, I've, I've always had an interest in music. It's always in, been intertwined in my life, especially the classic rock. Uh, I've always been a narrative artist, so I enjoyed delving back into the lives of the musicians and the, the blues men and women. So. Uh, it just kind of comes out through through my art. It's very cool stuff. Maybe walk me through this piece and tell me a little bit of the history behind it and how, how you went about creating this. Well, the Sgt. Pepper piece is is uh, very much a narrative piece. It uh, it contains the entire uh, Sgt. Pepper song starting with track number one, two, three, and you just pretty much read it all the way down to the last track, A Day in the Life. And so each one of these individual blocks is my interpretation of the song. And so I'm taking the lyrics and and then picking it apart, basically. And how do you create this print? Uh, how, how do you design it? This is called a line of cut. It's very similar to a wood cut, only it's carved out of linoleum. Uh, you're carving out all of your white space. You're carving it backwards because you're going to have to print the mirror image. So all of the writing has to be backwards as well. And uh, you ink it, you press it, you get the image. I go back in and hand paint with watercolor the different areas and do the frames as well. Now, a lot of our readers are music fans. We're a music magazine. so. If someone wants to buy a piece of your art, can they find you online? They can check me out at craigyangst.com, K-R-E-G-Y-I-N-G-S-T. Thank you so much, Craig. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, buddy.